Clean the light riding, but I know that they ain't. Ride or die. I go hard in the paint, yeah, homie, I'm a saint. Ride or die. I mean, don't you just like ignore like the like people that are saying dumb stuff though, or like that's you know you can't do that or what? I I, I don't think I don't think that I'm that I'm capable of doing that. Like when you have like the multiple people, I just think that. I have a personality type that I get overwhelmed when it's that many people at once. And I'm trying to think of how to address this and how to address that. But that's, well, it seems to be like coincidentally problems. right at the timing. Like you, you reach your limit on dealing with like multiple people talking right where it's like you're pressed on a very concise, like issue. No, I mean, you see exactly why I left. I even thought that you were, talking about the genetic fallacy, which even you agreed would be uh, not a proper critique of what I was saying. But then if you read, if you listen to what I'm saying, I'm literally telling these guys, it's hard to follow. It's hard to remember what everyone says with everybody jumping in and out. So I think I'm very clear that I'm just frustrated at this point that that's not a more controlled conversation and more on top. I, I actually am sympathetic to that. It's, it's a lot of just a copy yeah, but you also water. said that what accounts for you not hearing me tell you that is that you're probably like checking out at Walmart or something and you're like literally talking like you're, well, you're when, definitely there right when you said that I remember that was been about the time I was checking out then when I was leaving Walmart would have been about the time my audio cut out and then the yeah. time when you can hear on the audio if you listen closely uh, where you correct it like two or three times i'm driving my car i have an older car it's got some background noise which i think makes my audio louder and i think that that was drowning you out and others out and everybody was talking yeah this is all stuff I mean, there's another point too. in the in the conversation i pointed out to you also because when i was saying naturalistic felt that was that that's the intonation of me repeating the same thing i've already told you again right and yeah i suspect I'm not, I'm not, that's the second time that i told you that yeah i'm not stating that you didn't say that tom but even like when i came in into the room after i still had it in my mind that you were talking about the genetic fallacy yeah but that's not my fault that's your fault look i i told you how my brain operates when i'm getting like five or six people interjecting over talking points going all over the place and so you can take that or not take that i can't really help that situation i don't know what you mean by take it or not take it i'm saying no i mean you can you can either take however you want to cash it out it. it's a fault of yours not mine sure it's it's a fault that he can't mod the room and that you jumped into a conversation that was going on before you ever came in the room or before you jumped in just to add this and that nobody really paid attention to you other than uh, Jacob, uh, who seemed to want to interject your thoughts. But at the same time, Tom, well, Moto you, also you can't, it also. You can't uh, discredit the fact that all these other people were talking at the same time and wanting to make different points. Well, I wouldn't, I mean, some, there was over talking for sure, but I mean, most of it was pretty easy to follow. Now, and there's a lot now, of people that were just saying dumb stuff, but who cares? Now, what I can control though, is I can just primarily do my own rooms where I can force it to be one-on-one -on -one conversations. And then these kind of mishaps don't happen. And then I won't get over talked. And maybe that's something that I should strongly consider in the future may even decrease uh some of me being frustrated with people yeah but i don't really think that like these factors that you're saying are really what's precluding you from having these conversations because i could systematically eliminate all the variables that you were you were opposed to right now i could remove every single person off the room could have it just me and you i could give you mods whatever you wanted you're not going to have the conversation right
I, I don't think today progressing the conversation from earlier right. is right. going to be fruitful now. Right. So it's not really about that, is it? Well, no, in that situation, that was what it was about. But this is an entirely new situation where I'm frustrated with people. And so I just know that's not going to be a productive conversation. James, what were you saying that was the naturalistic fallacy? He said that God is the creator and sustainer of life. Therefore, you can take it away. I had built some other things, too, because I was making a causal argument that God being the cause of all things, well, out of necessity, all things needing to be maintained by God. And I was building a further argument. I wasn't just making that one assertion. And so I felt, too, that Tom was being inappropriate by assuming my whole entire argument was summed up in that one sentence. And so I was trying to be charitable to Tom and say, okay, uh, maybe he came in late. Maybe all these guys continuing to jibber jabber. Maybe Tom didn't hear the other points. But I don't think Tom wanted to focus in on that. He only wanted to focus in on the one statement in isolation. What I mean, was, if you're saying the rest of it, if all you're saying is that you had sort of like, I don't know, some kind of cumulative argument. And this, that point was one of the arguments amidst like a group or cluster of arguments, like making a stronger point that that's really all irrelevant to the criticism of that one discrete argument. No, because that you're isolating that one point, but that point in and of itself is not my argument. That point is a statement within a much bigger argument that I was trying to make while having to respond to five different people. No, that was an what argument. Would it matter? God is the giver and sustainer of life. Therefore, God is able to can can kill whoever he wants. That's a, that's that's a line of reasoning. That's, I mean, even if you call it a premise of it, it's still fallacious. So when, when you make a statement, sometimes a statement in and of itself, if that's all it is, can be fallacious. But if you are making a statement with broader context, it does not necessitate that the argument is fallacious. And so when Well, it might. Say, it depends upon what the broader context is. Like what well, what role does that statement my sentence, Gene? What? Okay, go ahead. What's that, James? No, I was just thanking him for not letting so me James, finish my sentence. And then you're just going to use that as an opportunity to, like, bow out, I guess? No, no. I mean, look, like, when, when you no, said no, he, he cut just, me like, off, so I'm going to let him it. finish, but I was letting him know I didn't appreciate it. No, I when, when you pointed that out, I stopped speaking because you correctly pointed out that I was being rude, so go ahead. Okay, so when I'm building an argument, I'm building it through several points. I feel that Tom's criticism isolated that one statement, and the statement in and of itself was not my argument. And I wasn't building everything tied to that one statement. I was building, and he might not like the argument, he can say it's a bad argument, but I was building a causal argument based on God being the first cause, and everything out of necessity, not having a saity like God, that it's dependent on God. And I've, I've made this argument a few times, and I'm fine if somebody thinks it's a bad argument, but it was not the naturalistic fallacy or the genetic fallacy. So wait, so let me, let me try to understand what the argument's supposed to be. So the, what you just said, you, should, you, should let him you think that because God has these various... It was actually the well, Sith I mean, fallacy. It was the Sith fallacy. So, well, you repeat you. back to you what I think I heard, and you can tell me if this is right or not. I, okay. So uh, I think that you said that God has various sorts of attributes, like a saity and so on. And that because God has those attributes, um, that's, that's why God would be morally justified in killing any member of his creation that he chose.
Yeah, what makes what makes of this sense is that God is not obligated to do any of these things, but because God is the creator of life and he's that first cause, God is also the sustainer because nothing else in creation has a satiety. And I didn't use the term satiety in the other conversation because I didn't think any of those guys would necessarily know what I was, you know, referring to. But so the way I built this argument and I have it, I have some things written down about it somewhere. But in a nutshell, out of those principles that everything proceeds from God, there's a necessary dependence on those things. And if God is an intelligent agent, then God gets to control that which flows from Him. And I, I build a whole argument from that. So, look, I, I think what what makes that not the uh, naturalistic fallacy is if you say that God sustains all of those things and God is ultimately responsible for them, but in addition, God had no obligation to do any of that. Yeah, right? So you need that you need that last statement because without it, it's going to be if all you have is the is the first part where you just say that all these things depend upon God, then it would be the naturalistic fallacy. Yeah, and so because of the nature of the room and everybody talking, I was not able to convey my points as well. And frankly, I'm just I'm not good enough or capable enough to be having like a conversation where I'm taking on five people at once. I'm just not equipped for that. So it's probably something that way. when it happens, oh. I should just mute my mic and leave the room sooner. That would probably be more productive. But by the way, and I know what you mean when you say the naturalistic fallacy here, but uh, technically that's not the right name for... Um, and I, and I, I understand that you, maybe you weren't the person that brought up that... Uh, that phrase, but but that's technically not what's not not what one should say here. I mean, the what's if if you had just said that um, everything depends upon God, and you left the the moral premise out, then that wouldn't be a naturalistic fallacy. It would actually be the is ought. Um, it, it would be a it would be improperly inferring an ought from an is. Um, which is not the same thing as the naturalistic fallacy. Yeah, and we is were it talking also a genetic earlier, fallacy, though. Well, one second. What's that? We were talking just, also before that, just to give you more information about God being in control and sustaining all life, the giver right. and taker of life based on His decision. And we were also building that He's not obligated to give you life, but because of the nature of the room and everybody talking. I'm sure I was not the only one having a hard time following, but I will grant that it was not a great conversation to have. Sure. I mean, you can call it whatever right, you like want. The point a... is that is, he is getting an odd from an is, right? That's it, it's a question, uh, maybe like why that wasn't the naturalist fallacy. Isn't it also just the genetic fallacy, though? Regardless? I don't... I, I'm not... Uh, I don't think so. I, I mean, it. Um, and the naturalistic saying, fallacy saying, is getting an odd from an is, right? It, well, no, the naturalistic is, fallacy so, is to say yeah. that something is, uh, is to say that something is moral because it's natural. The that's is that's the appeal to nature. No. That's the appeal to nature. It's the appeal to nature fallacy. The naturalistic fallacy was technically a term that more for the, yeah. that more used in a kind of right. right way that can be distinguished from the is ought fallacy um but i think in this context they were just being used synonymously because in the yeah. literature there's been a kind of conflation of the naturalistic fallacy with the is ought yes yeah, thank gee, you Jack. I that's what i was talking about the appeal of nature i mean yeah yeah no but the, the point is when moore used the term naturalistic fallacy he means some he meant something a little bit more specific than the is ought fallacy, but it was very closely related to that. And because of that close relation, a lot of people just use, including myself, use the term naturalistic fallacy interchangeably with is ought fallacy. But it, in its original use, it didn't 
it, it meant something a little bit narrower. Right. Yeah, the how, is does, the how does how does anybody think that I was making an is op fallacy? Because I'm telling you because I'm telling you what no, God not. is doing, but I'm not saying I'm I'm don't see the ought in there or the I mean I just So look here's gather. Yeah. So here's so it's it's not an ought statement, but it's a moral statement. So the idea is that you can't get a moral statement out of a declarative sentence. So the or purely declarative sentence. So um, if you if you had said something like, "Oh, God has properties X, Y, and Z," like God is Ase and the Creator, put in whatever properties you want, um, then the it's you can't then infer from that that uh, God has no obligation to leave us in existence or. You know, God wouldn't be violating an obligation to take us out of existence. Nothing about the morality of God's actions would be implied by the fact that God has uh, the properties named. What you, but but actually, your arguments are a little more sophisticated, like that, and so uh, more sophisticated than that. And that's um, what may, what perhaps people were were missing. You clarified in this conversation that part of your case is that. Um, God doesn't. God didn't have an obligation to begin with to sustain us in existence. That was one of the premises in your argument. So if God's so, so the argument you're creating it looks something like this: God sustains things in existence, and God has no obligation to do so. Now that's not getting whatever you conclude for. You, know, you can you can get a moral conclusion from that because one of your premises. Is a moral statement, right? The, the premise that says that God has no obligation to sustain creatures in existence. If you hadn't included that premise, then it would be an isot fallacy. Now, I I will also concede that, given how like heated the conversation got, and the people jumping in, and the fact I was in Walmart doing some shopping at the time, that I I could very well have not conveyed my argument and. A very straight, concise way, uh, given all the circumstances. So I will take I will take part of that issue on myself as well. Uh, sure. I yeah. I, I don't know. I wasn't listening very carefully when you were playing the clip, but the um, but I think what was going on was that uh, people thought you were just describing some of God's attributes, and then arriving at a conclusion about the morality of God's actions on the basis of. Those attributes. Yeah, he was um, doing that. You, yeah, he was yeah. doing that. There's well, no, because he. There's about thirty to forty minutes. Why do you keep saying no? I I, I listened to it. I heard Tom, it. There was about thirty to forty minutes of the clip that we didn't play, and when we were talking about yeah, God, and and why is this guy telling me that you didn't say it when not only did he wasn't there, not only when we played it was that thirty forty minutes not included. Why is this guy telling me what you did or did not say? Well, he's not saying that, hey, in this argument that James uh, did not misspeak or James maybe did not say something that appeared that way. What he's saying is the way I'm presenting my argument to him in clarification is Just not the naturalistic fallacy or an is not. That's all he's saying. He's saying well, that's not right. the that's argument. because he's of the saying, addition. Like, you, you should put obligated in here to fix it. And then he's like, right. yeah, he's not saying that. I mean, like, get out of here, dude. Look, I don't know what happened in the original conversation because I wasn't there and haven't listened to it. What I do know well, is that the bro, argument that... What? Why you got your hand... Why are you elbow deep in the f***ing dough then? I don't... I'm not sure what that means, but I don't because think that James I... James recounting it just here. now... <laughs> because when James recounted it just now, he added obligate, no having no obligation. That's what he's responding to. Maybe you didn't hear James recount yeah, his that... argument just now. Yeah, he's gone. Did you miss that, Tom? What? Jesus Christ, dude. James just told what? us. James just told us what his argument was. And then this time he added God not having an obligation. That's what he's responding to. You know, who who cares? The f 
What 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 are you talking about? Who cares if he said hey you should didn't add that before? Like, okay, cool. And James is like, okay, cool. And then like, but but we're I'm not talking about like the fucking like you know workshopped version. I'm talking about the original. That shit's over. And when he says something like he didn't say he he, he didn't commit the naturalistic fallacy or blood this that he was even talking about appeal to nature. I think there's the same. A few moments later. But yeah, I mean, so Tom, if you heard the recording, Tom could barely get a word in edgewise in that other room. Uh... So so in his room or whoever's room, that last room, he had this opportunity to talk to James and he felt that Dan was interfering a little bit. Mm. Actually, actually, if you go back... Mm and you watch the replay, Dan was asking uh -huh. me questions about my position or Gene, and uh -huh. I was answering him and explaining it. He believed uh -huh. that my position didn't arrive in the contradiction that Tom tried to jam down my throat and everyone's throat. Tom then what got mad and threw him off stage. Give me uh, fallacy. Oh, oh, here, we go. Sorry, here we all go. Here we all go. When you... Fall Fallacy, Sorry, not contradiction, right? Fallacy, and when the gentleman Gene did not agree with Tom, Tom booted him from the room and got pissed. That's what happened. I thought that was Dan. You want to explain? Uh, I thought that was somebody. Dan, doing, you want to explain? I thought that was somebody <laughs> doing a James impression. James has become a meme of himself. Great, Dan. You want to explain to him why it's still the same fallacy? I don't know that it is. I mean, he had. A moral premise in addition to a purely descriptive premise, and that's what he needs to avoid the azot dichotomy. Or the azot fallacy, how, rather. How does that how does, how, does how, how does that how does that go, James? What? Oh, guessing James. Are you James? No. Jesus. No, no, the, the thing was is that my claim was that Gene, from what I described to him did not observe the fallacy that Tom was trying to stick with me with. Tom got frustrated with Gene and booted him off the stage for disagreeing with Tom. No. That's that's exactly when he booted him off was he disagreed with me, JJ. I mean, I know that you guys are like fanboys and you want to like hug the rabbit. You don't know if, that. If he does that, then he does that. If you moment agree. That's, That's right. more argument. because he's of the saying, addition. Like, you, you should put obligated in here to fix it. And then he's like, right. yeah, he's not saying that. I mean, like, get out of here, dude. Like, I, I don't know what happened in the original conversation because I wasn't there and haven't listened to it. What I do know well, is then, that the bro, argument that... What? Well, why you got your hands fucking say? Well, he's not saying that, hey, in this argument that James uh, did not misspeak or James maybe did not say something that appeared that way, what he's saying is the way I'm presenting my argument to him in clarification is Just not the naturalistic fallacy or an is not. That's all he's saying. He's saying well, that's, that's right. That's argument. Because he's of the saying, addition. Like, you, you should put obligated in here to fix it. And then he's like, right. yeah, he's not saying that. I mean, like, get out of here, dude. Look, I, I don't know what happened in the original conversation because I wasn't there and haven't listened to it. What I do know well, is then, that the bro, argument that... What? Well, why you got your hand... Why are you elbow deep in the f***ing dough then? I don't... I'm not sure what that means, but I don't it's think that I... Because James recounting yeah, it I'm just right. now... Christ, dude. James just told what? us... James just told us what his argument was, and then this time he added God not having an obligation. That's what he's responding to. Yeah, who who cares? What 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 are you talking about? Who cares if he said hey you should didn't say add this, that and before? Like, okay, cool. And James is like, okay, cool. And then like, but but we're I'm not talking about like the fucking like you know workshopped version. I'm talking about the original. That shit's over. And when he says something like he didn't say he he, he didn't commit the naturalistic fallacy or blood this that. He was even talking about appeal to nature. I think there's the same. A few moments later. 
it's you just don't know a that. fact if that's what happened in the other room. Someone can pull up the replay, play that part, play play when Gene is saying that I'm not committing the fallacy, play Tom getting frustrated, and then play right when Tom zaps him from the stage. You but can't you pretend like it was remember, another reason. No, hold on. But do you remember what Tom said? What did he say? Oh. He said he didn't want to talk about the workshopped version of your argument. He wanted to talk about what you said in the recording. He said that Gene wasn't there for the whole conversation. He didn't listen to it. So Tom doesn't want to deal with someone that's granting you the favor of his intelligence to clean up your mistakes. That's not what happened, James. So, so normally, normally you're semi-reasonable, but the thing is, is that when we're all conveying that that room was crap, Tom couldn't get his point out the way he wanted it. I couldn't get my point out the way I wanted it. You guys are asking me my point. Here I am. I'm clarifying it. I'm giving it to Gene. And then Tom boots me from the room. So Tom wants me to make my point or defend a point in the room. Or even in the replay, I said I couldn't get it out the way I wanted it. And even you hear Tom trying to interact and he can't get it out. I mean, you guys in this fanboy like atmosphere is just ridiculous you guys need to grow a set and be your own so, people so the problem is that in the recording like i was just listening the entire time while i was making uh some stuff and everything and and tom played multiple instances of that recording of that conversation where you were able to clarify exactly what you meant and every time you were just clarifying that because it's the case that he has this power it is the case that he has this power to do something that he ought to be able to do it to that person. He kept saying that, well, God has the, uh, did create these people, so he has the ability to take their lives. God uh, is the one who's sustaining you, and that means he is allowed to stop sustaining you, stuff like that. You kept, you had many times to clarify, and every time you clarify, you just kept going back to getting, well, making some descriptive statement about God having these abilities saying that God is doing this thing. And then that because of that, he ought to be able to do the thing. So Jovan, I'm going to give you one more chance to prove to me that you try to be honest to any degree. That was completely you, honest. No, no, Everything I'm he just giving, said is, I, is completely I'm, honest. I'm giving Jovan one more chance and then I'm going to write him off permanently. He just, you, he just gave you, you he just Jovan, gave you an honest recounting JJ, of what happened JJ, jj hang on let me speak there you guys are trying to control the narrative i'm just gonna give him one more chance calm are down are you sir. trying to are, say are, okay i guess uh this is no go ahead it is no go ahead James. room and i can't talk and you guys just want to control the narrative no i thought you were done james go ahead you thought i was <laughs> you done didn't, JJ. Wasn't JJ. Talking, jj go ahead you james. thought when i'm still talking that i'm done you weren't talking uh, when I started talking. We're going to do a room about this tomorrow. No, you people no, no, no. are pathetic. James, look, JJ's going to be quiet. Say what you want to say. To <laughs> JJ's fight room. <laughs> He's basically, James is basically, oh, he moved. But oh, James he ran is basically away. Hey, JJ. Like James was basically. Speaking of stomping on the food. A few moments later. And it doesn't bother them at all. I'm not saying it's a good thing that people over talk each other, but I'm saying that. It's, you know, however it results, it's not the product of, like, some sort of, like, anti-Christian bias that this room has. It's, and that's evident from the fact that we all over-talk each other even when there's no Christians here. And Christians over-talk each other all the time. Oh, yeah, it's not some plot. It's just that some people interrupt other people. And some people really don't like it. There's nothing... So Bias to that. What was the last thing you heard James say that made you think oh, that he was done? Are you going to prey on my memory now? No, it's just there's no possible world where you were listening to what he was saying and thought he was done. There is, obviously. The, uh, what was he saying? No idea at this moment. I'd have to think about it. He said, I'm going to give you one more chance, Jovan. In what world is that him stopping? In what world is that him to stop talking right there and he's not going to go on further? It'd be weird if he was done after saying that, wouldn't he? A few moments later. Hear me now? I wasn't there this morning, but...
It's always related Mike to check. nature. So. Mike, check. It's a yeah. Yeah, yeah, you do. Okay. So, when you say Gene, when you say it's not obligated, doesn't that just mean it's permissible? Uh, no, because you could like an obligation to do something because you have an obligation not to do it. Like, you, you have an have obligation, obligation to, uh, I don't have an obligation to murder people. Um, that doesn't mean that it's permissible for me to murder people. Well, that would be in two different senses, right? So no, no. So look, if, you, if there's there's three different. When you say it's, when you say that, he's not obligated to do something moral. Therefore, he is permitted to do something moral. I think not obligated is just the same as. Um, it's well, that, permissible. that could be, but it, it, if that's look, if that's the case, then that would just. That would mean that the argument is trivial. It wouldn't mean that the argument um, commits the Izzat fallacy. Well, it'd be trivial in I the never fact think that, that was a good argument. not I obligated and didn't... permissible are the same. And if that's the case, then you can just get rid of the not obligated. And in that case, it would be an Izzat fallacy. No, it's, no, because in that case, it would, the argument would just be tautological. Well, the tautological component is not obligated and permissible. And if that's redundant, well, then we can just eject one of them. And therefore, all you're left with... And no, 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 but no, no, it's not right. You can't just... If you have a tautological argument, you can't just reject one of the premises in virtue of it being tautological. No, I would reject but, the redundancy. No, well, but it's not redundant. Right. If, if one of the premises is the same as the conclusion, then the argument is tautological and question-begging. But you can't just, like, remove one of the premises. Dan, for one second, take the obligated part out. Okay. Then it's isot, right? Yeah. Right. And the ought part. Now, now take the, the, the is part. And how do you get to the, the not obligated part? But the way that the argument was explained to me was that the, the argument has two premises. One premise is a descriptive premise, and the other premise uh, is a is it makes a moral claim, and then the conclusion makes a moral claim. No, that's that's what that's your argument. That's not James's argument. That was, that was what James gave me. So, oh no 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 no, sir, come on! You said. It would be okay if you had some obligation, and then he goes, a John Lee, yeah, affirmative, verbal tick, and then he just started talking, right? He, you, he gave that was me, your He argument. gave me the premise that... Okay, tell me what he gave you. Tell me he what gave he gave me you. the premise that... Uh, he gave me a descriptive premise about, like, God's aseity or something, and then the other premise that he gave me was a premise about God not having an obligation to sustain you. Yeah, I think he said explicitly, God's not obligated, and then went on. I mean, he gave God's properties, a satiety, sustaining, blah, 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 blah. Then he said, and God's not obligated, blah, blah. Right. So it follows that he could, whatever, mm -hmm. end your life. Yeah. That just, but by that, I think he just means that it's permissible for him to do whatever. Look, if that's what he Therefore, needs, then it's, it, you know, the whatever, argument just happens to fail for a different reason. Right? Like it's a bad argument, but the reason that you've described it as a bad argument is because it's a the argument is tautological and question begging, right? It, like one of the one of the statements that's in contention is assumed as a premise. Look, that's why now we're analyzing your argument. I don't think that Jane look, I I literally played the recordings of him saying it, right? So don't tell me that he was saying this. Right. Well, I don't know what That's he was just, saying like before. All I know is what I what he was saying in the conversation that I had with him. All Dan. Oh, you were there, John. You're saying I was not in oh, the sorry, room. Where I was. I was in the a very early room with Andrew and all that. And I think uh, 
yeah, uh, James to me anyway to me uh, was making a naturalistic fallacy. James has run away at this point now. Oh, that was uh, wasn't that yesterday, John? No, it was early this morning. Where was that? Very early. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah I, mean, I, can't, I mean, obviously, that... I can't comment on conversations I wasn't present for. Well, that didn't stop you earlier, did it? He again, Tom. I was commenting was, on the argument responding. that he gave me. I wasn't commenting on like the. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't think he gave you that though. I don't think he. Gave well, you that. he did. I he mean, did. like I not in any sort of like organic way. I mean, like that. Look, this gave... is what I thought that I heard. Okay, so maybe I heard incorrectly. Fine, if you know if that's possible. Uh, but this is this is what I thought he was saying. Not significantly incorrectly. I think, Tom, you were looking for, you were searching the recording for something. And James told Dan what his argument was. But this time, he added in yeah, that God yeah, was not Gene obligated. He told James what his argument was. Yeah, that sounds I don't about think so. right, JJ. I don't I think, think so. But that isn't the reason not, he's not obligated? That's not what I just said. Tom? I thought the reason... I thought Jesus. the reason he wasn't obligated was because... It's not a more obligation for anyone to have to continue to sustain something. I thought that was well. It would matter. Well, first of all, I don't under. Well, I think we can give it counterexamples to that, to where we would say that you are morally obligated to continue to sustain something. But I think because he keeps. Uh, well, you guys kept, uh, were saying that he was appealing to uh, something about like. A tautology about himself. But I thought he was appealing to the more principle. Je no, he, Tom is saying that just saying that he's not obligating, not obligated, is just to say that it's it's permissible. Correct. And that's all going to be based on God's properties, aseity, blah 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 blah. And that's the redundancy. I mean, look, if it's, if it's redundant, then yeah, that's, that's just what we've said that the argument's than, uh, that's, trivial. Yeah, but that's not the naturalistic fallacy. Okay. It's, it's odd. Yeah, when I levied the allegation of naturalistic fallacy, it wasn't to the James as workshop argument. If, I, if I say... If I that say, wasn't... James offered the not obligated part. He added that part in. Whether he knows why he did it or not is... Yeah, but when James says that, he's just saying that God can do X or God can do Y. And he's not, like, required to do either. That's what he means by not obligated. So yeah, James because is saying, God's properties, God's like this, he can do God, this. God can do X or he can do Y. Therefore, it's moral for him to do Y. That's what his argument is. Right, and adding in that he's not obligated not to do why is fucking. But but I would say God's obligated to take life uh, when sin has occurred because the wages of sin is death. Oh, so yeah, maybe okay, another okay. discussion. Take your scripture and just like just just keep it to yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying, Dan? Uh, I I okay. just. I mean, look, I think we can talk about a few different arguments here, right? Like, one is, like, the argument that... We could. We could, but but did, did what I said make any sense? Adding in the not obligated part is irrelevant? It's what saves the argument from not being a naturalistic fallacy, or, like, an exact fallacy. Why would I... I go hard in the paint, yeah, homie, I'm a saint. Why would I... 